hotels. And another great way to spend your summer vacation is at the movies. It's free air conditioning, right? So Marcus Allen is our go-to guy for the latest news on what's trending on the big screen. Hi, Mark. Where are you? Hey, Melissa. Yeah, I'm hanging out in West Hollywood, listening to myself on that roller coaster. First of all, I'm thinking, what an idiot. Why did you put him on television? But also, I can't believe it's been a week ago. I'm still not walking straight. And I love the movie for which that roller coaster is based. How much did you love Incredibles 2? Have you taken the kids yet? I certainly have, my friend. I, I took uh, took my family this past uh, weekend. There we are. There's my little daughter, Lila, my hubby, Greg. It was fantastic. It was something Aww. that not only the kids loved, but, I mean, as parents. That is parents, so cute. Yeah, I was I was totally enthralled. And Mark, I have to say, I thought the movie was incredible. I am telling you, it's one of those summer sequels. Many of our sequels this summer better than the original movies. I think this one just might be. Brad Bird, the director, knows what he's doing. He directed the highest grossing Mission Impossible movie ever. So he knows action. And this movie plays like an action movie. And at the same time, the Jack-Jack stuff. I broke three ribs laughing so hard at the Jack-Jack mm -hmm versus raccoon scene, but I don't want to plot spoil if you haven't seen it. I caught up with Frozone himself, Sam Jackson, who has a bigger role in this movie to talk about it. Take a look. An honor to see you. Thank you. Congratulations on another one. Yeah, I made another good movie. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> and another, it's no big deal to you anymore. They're yeah, all good sure it is. Yeah, it's always a big deal. Come on, you always want to be in stuff that people are going to watch. Right? Yeah, that's, well, a, that's the goal. Number one. Sure. You know. You don't want to be that guy that makes movies that suck. That, that nobody comes to see. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was talking to Brad and the filmmakers at Pixar, and they said, if not for you, it wouldn't have happened. That, in fact, you were the one saying, we should be doing another one. <laughs> I've been saying it for a while. Oh, okay. Well, people have been bugging me about it for at least 12 years. Right? Yeah. Why Every did it take so feed, long? It's like, where's Incredibles 2? We want to see Incredibles 2. I have no idea. Um, well, you know, Brad was out working with real people. You know, as opposed to us cartoon characters <laughs> right. uh, doing things like Mission Impossible and figuring out his other action genre muscle. Oh, that you know, thing. Which was fine. Uh, and, you know, I guess one of the theories has always been that Incredibles was such a perfect movie. Right. It's almost impossible to make a movie that's as good, let alone even a little bit better as a sequel should be. So I think they figured it out. Took them a while to figure it out. Okay, so I personally, as mentioned, love Incredible. So love glad that Samuel. That guy. Yeah, me too. I, I love Samuel uh, Jackson. I mean, I'm, I'm so glad that he was behind part of that push. I do want to know more, though, about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, though, Mark, because people that have gone and watched it, I've heard a little bit of split reviews. What, what was your take? My take on it is that it's a great summer movie. It's stupid, but that's kind of what we want to unlock our mind and just let go and enjoy it and leave all probability, uh, suspension of disbelief, fully engaged to go see a movie like this. Is it better than the other Jurassic Parks or World? No, not at all. Does it offer more of the same? Yeah, pretty much. I'll tell you why this movie is doing so well, because of one thing and one thing only, the dinosaur-sized charisma of Chris Pratt. That's why people love this movie. Absolutely. I thought. could couldn't agree more with you, my friend. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what uh, you're gonna be filling our viewers in on when it comes to your movies. Extra Butter is going to be right here on ABC 10 tomorrow at 9.30. Mark, I know you're going to be filling everybody in on where they should be and what they should be watching in the theaters. Thank you so much for joining us, my friend. Cannot wait to see you in person soon. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us right here on Stack. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.